Oh wait, we love the oddball stories. The things that you see every day in life that make you go, wait, what? <laughs> Which is why when we opened our calendar this morning and saw that today is National Kick Butt Day, we knew we had to bring back this Brian Holmes classic of one Nampa business who tried a pretty unconventional way of increasing production. <laughs> Not exactly a well-known national holiday. Have you ever heard of National Kick Butts Day? Uh, negative. But what is it? Uh, people kicking butts, I guess. Maybe working hard. Kicking butt. And taking names. <laughs> and taking names. <laughs> well, not exactly. What is it? Why is it a holiday? National Kicking Butts Day is actually an anti-tobacco campaign that's designed just for kids. But of course, made me think of just one thing. And it's kept right here at an engineering firm in Nampa, Idaho. Good afternoon, Levitt & Associates. Certainly one moment, please. Levitt & Associates Engineering has designed some pretty big projects. All sizes. From processing plants to the Idaho Center. That's one of them. But they're also behind a little lesser known novelty item. You have a butt kicking machine here? Yes. Owner Reese Levitt has been an engineer for more than four decades. This is it. However, what his company constructed 14 years ago. This is the world famous manually self-operated butt kicking machine. May have goosed his firm's recognition more than anything else. You know, it just, it, it wasn't the kind of tension that I, as an engineer I hoped to get. A self-operating butt kicking machine. But why? Well, the idea came about during a production meeting that wasn't so productive. And the thought came out of that that we might uh, build a butt kicking machine to kind of help us with our production. So they went at it like engineers would, putting together some pulleys and springs, and voila, $160 later, you get a size 14 Chuck Taylor right in the keister. After building two more, Reese even went so far as filing papers to get a patent. Finally got an answer back, and we were told to get lost. Huh. That seems odd. But does it do? Let me show you how it works. Yeah, go ahead. What it's so, intended you know, to do. We, we sit you down right here. No, we sit who down? We sit you down right here. Reese says an engineer's achievements are judged based on creating something useful, something that will make money. Then we apply the butt okay. kicking like this. Yeah. Or That's something that will benefit mankind. One more good one. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Here, is that enough? That's, no, one I'm more. good. Fully motivated. You sure? All right. <laughs> Getting poked in the posterior. It's kind of a potologically violation, it feels like. It does none of those things. Yeah, that's why it sits down here collecting dust. <laughs> and likely where it will remain. It's kind of a shame. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> this is your legacy. Brian Holmes. Well, unfortunately so. <laughs> Idaho's News Channel 7.